The new Acropolis Museum was built to reunite the Parthenon sculptures, those Elgin removed and those he left behind. Today, many visitors agree with that goal. It's a beautiful gallery, but of course it would have been much more beautiful if the Elgin marbles would be there. And I had hoped, to be honest, that for this anniversary they would have come back here home. I believe that about many of the things that, not just part of the Acropolis, but many of the ruins that the British have stolen from all over the world. But as we're standing here in Athens, I definitely believe that those things ought to be returned to this country. Greece became an independent country 15 years after the British Parliament bought the marbles. In the 1980s, it launched a campaign to bring them home, a national goal with which almost all Greeks passionately agree. They argue that the marbles were violently and illegally removed. To remove the friezes, Elgin's men had to demolish parts of the Parthenon. The sculpted slabs are half a meter deep. To lighten the load in shipping, Elgin had the backs sawn off. This one broke in half. The brighter plaster cast represents the half now in the British Museum. The House of Commons formed a committee to investigate how Elgin obtained the marbles, and it is on the basis of that committee's report that it decided to purchase them from him. But the committee had no independent documentary evidence. It only had Elgin's word to go on. Elgin claimed he had obtained a firman, or decree, from the Ottoman Empire, which then included Greece. Recent research has unearthed why Elgin didn't make copies of the permissions he had. Now, this is not a firman. It was a letter, a friendly letter, which was given under the table, really, to Lord Elgin. Now, what I have found as a researcher is that this document did not pass through the protocol of the embassy, as others did at the time. So this gives us the evidence that it was not officially done. As British ambassador to Constantinople, Elgin apparently used his influence to study the Parthenon, then stretched that permission. Greece says that ownership is no longer the point. It just wants the sculptures reunited. Jomseropoulos, Al Jazeera, Athens.